Where do you see yourself in 10 years? What are your goals you've set for yourself? 10 years is a long time. Um, I'd say goals I've set for myself, set definitely a lot of them. Um, definitely owning my own gym. This summer was definitely a special one, definitely one for the books that we will not forget. And as you guys saw, if you guys were updated with our summer sacrifice series, we were at numerous different gyms. You know, especially with coronavirus, training outside, traveling 45 minutes one way to a gym, doing whatever we had to do to just get it done and just keep moving forward. And that's kind of what makes getting this gym so special is we were able to document that and kind of just show that resilience to just keep working regardless. You know, obstacles get thrown at you. It doesn't matter. You just got to keep moving forward. So I'm um, really excited to get this gym. Totally changes the way I operate my business, my efficiency, but also helps the players that I train like Caleb, like Manny, the players that are trying to really get to the next level. It really helps them get there. So I'm really excited for the opportunities. It's not only going to bring me, but for everyone in my circle, everyone that works with me, all the players that I train. So super excited. So let's get it. Last doing? workout outside ever again. Why's that? My boy just got a gym, baby. Why are you walking over here like that? You know, getting to this point of, you know, having my own space, having my own gym, this has been an extremely long time coming and it's nothing crazy, you know, it's no million dollar facility, none of that, but I actually got to step foot in this gym, my own gym to train for the very first time the day before my 22nd birthday. And if you, if you don't really know me or know my story, you know, I decided to drop out of college after my freshman year. Um, I dropped basketball and I decided I want to pursue my dream my dream of becoming you know a full-time trainer doing what i love and making enough money getting my own gym and all that kind of thing and as soon as you know i decided to drop out people telling me i'm dumb you're gonna regret that that's stupid um literally had people telling me you're never gonna make enough money as a full-time trainer to just be a trainer and you know that's why this is special for me three years later getting to open my own gym spending my own money building it out doing what people said I couldn't do only a couple years later. That's why this is so special for me. And you know, it's not just by luck, you know, I just happened to come upon this and it was just lucky. No, like this was a direct process of the last two to three years of work every single day. You know, I sacrificed a shit ton, um, you know, sacrificed every single night hanging out with friends, you know, when all, all you guys and everyone's out hanging out with their friends, Friday, Saturday night, going out to dinner, no, I was at home studying, reading, going to bed early on Friday, Saturday night. So I get up early on Saturdays and Sundays and just keep working. Saved every single penny religiously. Did a lot of stuff I didn't want to do. Got outside my comfort zone. That's why I was able to do this. That's why this is so special for me because I earned this, you know, and I earned it when people said I couldn't. So that's why this is special for me. Like I said, it's not a crazy facility, but it's my facility, you know? This is mine. There's a lot of good opportunities that are gonna come from this, a lot of growth that's gonna come from here. But, you know, the opportunity came and I was confident in myself to pull the trigger. And there'll still probably be people right now watching this video, oh, that's stupid, get in your own gym at that age. But watch me, you know, I'm far from over and this is just the start. So with that said, welcome to my gym.
Of the lines. We'll see if he picks up. Yo. Yo. Let Ready to see the lines? Let me see. Uh, hold up. Let me turn the light on. <laughs> Looking clean, boy. He did it today. What? Let me see, man. I'm gonna show you. Chill out. Yeah. You want me to show you from the top? I'm gonna show you from the top. Okay. There's still uh. Hold on. I gotta get up there. Are right, you ready? Here we go. Damn! That's lit. I like that. Yes, sir. That's lit. That's fucking lit. Yo, the court looks so different now. I know, right? It just changes. It looks so different, bro. It really does. It literally changes everything. Yeah. But nah, that, yeah, that looks clean. That's super clean. All right, what up, what up? So welcome to the gym, officially. Just gonna take you guys on a quick little tour, talk through some things with you guys, um, just show you and explain everything to you. So obviously this is the office. Um, not 100% done, still gotta get you know a couple of little things, more decorations, all that stuff, but we got the TV, some film study stuff, we got the desk, fridge, microwave, all that kind of good stuff. And then as you guys see, boom, you walk through here, right into the gym. And so the lines just got done literally today. There's still tape on the lines because um, they're drying as we speak. So tomorrow going to pull the tape up, make the lines look nice and crisp. So excited for that, for the high school line, NBA line, because obviously, you know, we're going to be having NBA players in here. Main hoop. And then that is just a secondary hoop for some group stuff, clinics, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so the floor got done actually August 29th, like I said, day before my 22nd birthday. And so I've been training here for about a month, but the lines just got done. So now we can complete this video. So that's why we took so long. Um, obviously coronavirus backs everything up. So it is what it is. Right here, we got a little stretching area, warm ups. Gonna put some yoga mats, some foam rollers, bands, all that kind of good stuff. Obviously you gotta finish that all the way out. Bathroom, black, red tiles. That was actually a coincidence. It was meant to be, I guess you could say. Wall pads right here. They're gonna go from pole to pole. And then same thing over there, 16 feet across. Boom, so then we got coming up here. By the way, that looks fantastic. Shout out to Emily for that. So come right up here. Got the kind of work area for parents, kids doing homework before sessions, whatever. Overview the whole court. This is probably one of my favorite parts. You know, you just sit right here. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Obviously, we got, you know, a lot more touch-ups to do. Uh, little decorations, can get some banners, some flags, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, man. It's complete, we're ready to work. So anyone who's gonna be in here, let's get to work. Everyone who's been supportive of the channel, supportive of me in general, appreciate you guys. It goes a long, long way. And shout out to everybody who came through and helped. Came through and painted, cleaned the floor. Couldn't have done it without everybody. You know, my family, especially my mom, really helping. Just with a lot of details, helping organize everything, huge help. Manny, Caleb, Emily, DJ, 2G was a big help on that back wall back there. So Manny's girlfriend, Emily, does some artwork stuff, so she did that. I think that looks sweet. Max, Ethan, Mac, Jack, Mike all came through, helped, appreciate you guys. 
and then Bobby and Kevin were behind the cameras. Um, so appreciate you guys as well. And then Jim with the floor at New England Sports Floors. If you guys are looking for a basketball court, that's your guy, best in the business, um, without a doubt. So yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. It's go time. A lot of new opportunities coming, a lot of big things coming. So it's go time now. So let's get to work. Thank you.